This tutorial will cover the configuration of the Windows print driver for optimal output for the Roland MPX80 Photo Impact Printer. To configure MPX80 print driver, we want to click on Start, Control Panel, and we want to open Printers. In the Printers window, we want to select the MPX80, right click on it, and select Printing Preferences. In the Material tab, we want to ensure the units is set for millimeters. We want to put a check mark in the extended size. When you do so, a warning box will pop up. At this point, we can click OK. We want to set the width and the length to 80 by 80. This is the maximum table size of your MPX80. You can enable the print from bottom. This just means that if you're in a kiosk or gift environment, the customer can actually see the output as it's printing. If you want speed, you can enable by direction. If you're printing on gold, silver, or platinum, you would want to print unidirectional, so you would want to uncheck this option. Next, we're going to click on the Image Correction tab. In the Image Correction tab, we're going to set our gamma to 0.65. This will adjust our white point slightly higher for printing. This can be adjusted during the print preview function. From the drop down list, you have five preset values aluminum, brass, stainless steel, acrylic, and Roland MD. MD stands for multi density. If you're printing on plated materials such as nickel plated, rhodium plated, brass, or copper, you'd want to select the Roland MD setting. If you're printing specifically on aluminum tags, brass blanks, stainless steel, or acrylic, you want to select your setting accordingly. We will select Roland MD as the majority of the prints that we will produce will more than likely be plated materials. For the resolution, we want to select photo mode. The only time you need to select high resolution mode is if you're printing on gold, silver, or platinum. The mirror image option would only be used when you're printing on acrylics. If you click on the option tab, we will leave the option tab alone and leave those settings as your default. Once you're done, you can click OK and this completes our driver configuration for the MPX80. This concludes our tutorial. For more information on this and other Roland products, please visit www.rolanddga.com dot com